Hello friends, uh, this is Umesh Arora from CATCAM Solution and today we will assemble this machine wise and all the components we have already created the videos are available in the playlist you can check it from the playlist and if you are new to our channel please do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest update so let's start with the annex so from the new select this assembly and now select the parts and my base one guide one jaw one serrated plane one sliding block one okay all part will come here and at the same time all the component are available here okay if you want to assemble so click okay so all the component will come this is my assembly navigator so first i want to make this base as a fixed component so click here this fix and click over it it will come just cancel it and in move select move and i want to move this so here we have in move click here and just change it to 0 0 and 0 so it will come over the default origin okay now i am assigning this fix okay in move just select this and move this rotate this part and rotate again and apply so first I will assemble this so click here and rotate and if you want to move just drag it here and ok here in assembly I am using this axis so this axis will coincide with this ok this will automatically come and assign it will assemble okay and if we will see if you will click over it and if you want to rotate this will rotate you know? so if you want to make this face parallel so we have parallel option select this parallel I want this face and this face to be parallel now this sliding jaw this sliding block will not move now it will not move okay next we have this so select this and move in this direction only it will not rotate okay now I'm going to assemble this movable jaw over this sliding block so uh, assemble constraint and here we have the axis this axis and this axis it is assigned this axis and zoom this axis will match and this and this if the dimension are not properly so it will not match it will show you some warning and all so we must take care of the dimension when we are creating this and offset assemble this with this face and the distance is 0 and ok now the guide block and movable jaw is assembled properly if you will move anyone both will move now click ok now I want to assemble this part click and drag okay and I want a copy so click here and drag for this copy and now no copy and move it so now we have two plate so select this constraint and here we have the axis zoom it I want to 
match this axis and this axis both will match and same here okay and for this zoom it select and select this and again select and select and apply cancel it now I am going to move this weight so that we can apply distance constraint why it is doing like this because of this component so let's cancel it no problem hmm. first I am applying constraint with this so distance apply gap between this is zero apply and okay and just click and apply a fixed constraint so that it will not move and click this plate now move this will move now delete this constraint which is fix or delete it okay now use this offset sorry reset distance this face will meet with this face and the distance is zero and click ok and see we have some problem okay it is going inside this see this part is going the inside uh, it means the distance is not properly okay so we have to check no problem I will check and select this and use this axis select this and this to axis and I want to select this prefer touch or touch okay I want to touch this and the this space okay and click okay okay now we have to check this and this why it is going inside <coughs> okay so now I want to make some changes in this part so click and open in window and here you can see the distance is 15 so I will check here here the dimension is not given and I have taken this from this point that's why it is coming like this so so uh, this these holes are at the mid of this plate so I'm going to take it as 19 or mid of this so click and delete this and select this point and this make them horizontally aligned finish hole will come automatically and set here and I just want to change the color because it is not showing properly okay and click the save and you see okay and select this and in assembly move I want to move this both will move and if you want to hide the constraint so we have here right click and display constraint in graphics disable it the constraint will disable so hope you like this assembly and if you have any query regarding this assembly you can comment me so thank you for watching and keep subscribe our channel